And then in the rest of the box, we just have a charging cord and that's really it. Okay, I'm gonna fiddle around with this a little bit and see if I can get some of my apps installed, get this whole thing set up. And when I do, I will come back and show you what it looks like. For the most part, I have set this up with the apps that I want. I figured I would show you really quick all the apps that I just downloaded. At first glance, I might download more as I think of them. I moved basically everything that came with it into a little group. You can set up as many groups as you want. I just downloaded Kindle and I moved it down into this bottom bar. So if I flip pages, just like on a home screen, it's always gonna be down there. I also have Libby, Goodreads, Audible, Hoopla, Spotify. I'm gonna take a second and see if I can kind of customize because I figure since it's like the size of a phone, I can probably set a wallpaper and a background. <laughs> I'm pretty excited with how this turned out. I have about, according to my Kindle app, six hours left of Crescent City book three. So I'm going to read the rest of that book on this tab and I feel like it'll give me a good idea of what the reading experience is like. And I will come back and let you know what my experience was using this cute little books palm. <laughs> This is just a quick little check-in because I'm about to put this on the charger for the first time. So I haven't charged this since I opened it out of the box. It came out of the box at 90% and now it's at 14%. I got it on Saturday and, and it's Tuesday now and I've been reading pretty heavily on this. For reference, I've been reading Crescent City so I read the last half of that book entirely on here and that's books about a thousand pages, so about 500. And I also read the second book in the Magnolia Parks universe, Daisy Hates, and that's a little over 500 pages as well. So that's a pretty significant amount of reading, like a quite a few hours of reading for me. Also, I assume some extra battery power went into getting that initial setup, downloading all of those apps, getting all of that kind of stuff done. So I'm gonna put this on the charger and see how it goes this next time. <laughs> quite a lot in the last couple of weeks or so here and I have some thoughts. I am a little bit conflicted on whether or not I would recommend the books Palma to others and I'll tell you why. I made a pros and cons list so we can talk through that really quick. So my first pro is the size. I think this is really unique and cool for the size. This fits in the vast majority of my purses which if that's something that you deal with, you might really, really enjoy this. I find that this swaps out my phone really, really nice if I am out because I often have this with me. It's a perfect size to bring around. My first con is also its size because when I'm at home, I find that I rarely reach for this if I have my Kindle Paperwhite around and this is about half the price. That brings me to my second and probably my strongest con. What makes this harder to recommend is the price. This guy is almost $300 and like I mentioned, the Kindle Paperwhite, which I recommend all of the time is 150 and this is like peak e-reader vibes. You're not gonna be disappointed with this. That being said, it's not a perfect analogy because there are some pros of this over this and really books e-readers in general. For one, this is really more like an e-ink tablet, which means you have access to Android 11 and that means also the Google Play Store. You can download anything on here. You're not just limited to the Kindle store. So if there are other apps that you read on, this might really be worth it over a Kindle. I have on here Libby, Hoopla, I can listen to audiobooks on here. What I really love is that I have Spotify on here and I can listen to music 
while reading without having to have another device with me, which I really, really love. So if that is something that is a pro for you, it's a really big pro and I could see why it would make it worth the money for you. Your con is obviously it's black and white, so only some apps are going to be practical to use on this. Again, could be a pro if you're trying to limit the kind of apps that you use, but you're really only gonna be able to use reading apps on here, like maybe a Sudoku app or something, and apps that you use to listen to music. That's, that's really just about what I think would be practical to use on this. My next pro is that I love the e-ink display. You have a ton of customization options here, warm and cool light. It's got a great resolution. You can change the resolution of it too, which is cool. You can also make this super fast and snappy and adjust if you want it to be fast or slow, which I think is awesome for an e-reader. On the other hand, the con of this is the battery life is not that great. And I would say that's probably one of my bigger cons besides the price. The battery of this lasts a few days with heavy reading and I'm used to having, again, something like a Kindle Paperwhite that I can use for weeks at a time without having to change the battery. So not a huge issue, but something to think about. Another pro of the Books Palma is that it has an option to add extra storage. So you can actually add a micro SD card in here. And I think that is genius. I think more e-ink tablets should come with that option. On the con side, this is phone sized. And again, you can download any app on the Google Play Store. I think it is a little bit of a missed opportunity that you can't add a SIM card here if you want to. I do think it'd be a very small amount of people that want to use this as their phone, but there is a digital detox movement and people are trying to step away from using smartphones. And they want to start using dumb phones, flip phones, things like that. And I think for those kinds of people, something like this might be a brilliant option. You're able, if you were able to use this for your phone calls and your texts, and then very simple things like reading if you wanted to, but it doesn't. I think that's a little bit of a missed opportunity. Maybe we'll see them do that in future versions. And finally, my last pro on this this is that I really like the speakers on here. I have a great time listening to music or listening to audible books or videos, podcasts, whatever, while I am using this. And I think that's, that's, a, I have nothing to say negative about the sound quality that comes out of this. And it connects with my AirPods really easily as well. So that works flawlessly. There are a couple interesting things about this just from a specs level, it runs Android 11 and I'm not sure how long that'll be relevant for, something to think about. It has 128 gigabytes of storage, which is very significant for books. And I love that you're able to add additional storage with that SD slot as well. It also interestingly has a camera on it. This is meant to use if you wanna scan documents. So something to, to think about. I'm not sure that I would use this and I kind of wish these little features didn't exist and instead the price was a little bit cheaper because I don't know, I'm not sure that I'm ever gonna use this camera to scan documents or take pictures. Overall, I like the Books Palma. If you just had an extra $300 to spend and you really like this size, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with using it on a usability functionality level. This works flawlessly, it's awesome, but I would be remiss if I didn't mention that it is $300 and it's gonna be a personal decision whether or not you think that something like this is worth $300. I'm actually pretty excited to see what future versions of this looks like. And I'm surprising myself by considering keeping this. I thought for sure that I would use it and then wanna return it, but because it fits in my purse, I really enjoy being able to carry it around. And honestly, it's just so cute and fun to look at. I really, really like that you're able to customize it. It feels like a really special little device. So I don't know, I'm conflicted on it. I might keep it myself. Let me know what you think down below. Is this something that you would be interested in? If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. It helps this little channel so much and I'll catch you next time. Bye.